basically a story written in C, C car structure is the plot structure of every Bruce Willis film you've ever seen. My favorite Bruce Willis movie is Armageddon. So when the movie opens, we are in the scene. We know right away we're oriented in time and space. It's present day. His subject matter expertise is deep sea drilling. He's in the middle of the ocean, and he's drilling for oil. We know that from the opening scenes of the movie. That's context. Challenge. He gets a phone call from NASA, and NASA says, Bruce, there's a giant asteroid headed towards Earth, and you, Bruce Willis, or Harry Stamper, which is his character in the film, you must go on a spaceship, land it on the asteroid, drill a big hole into the middle of it, and drop an atomic, a nuclear warhead into the middle of it, and blow it up from the inside, and you have 18 days to save the planet Earth and all of its inhabitants. So that's not the challenge. It yes. may seem that that's the challenge, but that's not the challenge. Why is this so hard? What's novel about it? What's at stake? And we know that in the movie. We know right away this is something that's never been done before. Secondly, it's a teaming event, which NASA doesn't normally do. They have to partner with the military because the military is creating the nuclear warhead. He has a relationship to manage because the military keeps horning in on his project and wanting to take it over. And he has to be diplomatic and build that relationship. He's got team building issues because his daughter is on board and is sleeping with his crew chief. <laughs> He's got to sort that out. He's got logistics issues with his equipment. He's, um, he's not an astronaut, so he has to make sure that he and every member of his team has appropriate training. Um, he's got um, his drop-dead date, which is when the asteroid is going to hit the planet if he doesn't do his job. So those are all of the things that make this challenging. So the challenge is not, here's a project I was assigned. The challenge is, is why is it hard? What's novel about it? And what's at stake? Once we understand that, then we as a movie-going audience are hooked, and we want to know how he pulls it off, right? Okay, so the next thing you need to know about a Bruce Willis film is that ultimately nobody cares about the asteroid. They're there because they like Bruce Willis. He's handsome, right? He's charming. He has a way with people, and you want to see him succeed. That's why we're in the theater. If Bruce Willis is off screen, the people leave the theater. Bruce Willis must be on screen throughout the story. Just like you have to be on screen showing your leadership throughout the story. Um, ultimately, he does manage his relationship with the military. He guides his team successfully to the asteroid. He lands it. He gets off. And in the closing moments of the film, he manages to deliver the nuclear warheads at the center of the asteroid. And he blows it up. And then we get to the results. He saves the planet Earth. And there are lots of metrics associated with that. He's done it in 18 days. He did it with a team of 12 people. He did it at a project cost of how many millions of dollars. Um, but there are all metrics associated with it. And had he survived the blast, the president would have invited him to the Oval Office and thanked him for his service. And in fact, if at the end of your endeavor, the president invited you to the Oval Office and thanked you for your service, that had better be the last sentence of your C-car. <laughs> um, and it, had Bruce Willis survived the blast, he would have had to be right where you are now, right in your ECQs. So um, there you job. go. <laughs> no doubt that's your favorite. <laughs>